it, it, not doing it will be catastrophic. The riveting tale of one man's vision that reshaped the landscape of news media forever. Today, we delve into the realm of Robert Edward Turner III, affectionately known as Ted Turner, a true titan of entrepreneurship, media innovation, and philanthropy. Picture this. It's the early 1980s and the realm of television news is dominated by rigid schedules and limited airtime. But in the midst of this status quo, Ted Turner saw an opportunity, a gap waiting to be filled. Armed with a bold vision and an unyielding determination, Turner set out to revolutionize the way we consume news. And thus, the cable news network, better known as CNN, was born. But let's rewind a bit. Turner's journey didn't start with CNN. It began with a modest billboard business inherited from his father. From these humble beginnings, Turner's entrepreneurial spirit soared as he ventured into the realm of television, acquiring an Atlanta UHF station in 1970. This was just the beginning of what would soon become the Turner Broadcasting System, a media empire unlike any other. With CNN, Turner didn't just create a news channel. He pioneered an entirely new concept, 24-hour cable news. Imagine access to news coverage around the clock, a concept that seemed almost revolutionary at the time. Suddenly, events unfolding across the globe could be broadcasted to living rooms everywhere in real time, shaping the way we perceive and interact with the world. But Turner's impact didn't stop at news media. Oh no, he was just getting started. He transformed the Atlanta Braves baseball team into a national sensation, even clinching the World Series in 1995. And who could forget his foray into the world of professional wrestling, breathing new life into the sport with the acquisition of World Championship Wrestling. Yet, Turner's legacy extends far beyond the realm of sports and news. A passionate philanthropist, he has dedicated himself to causes close to his heart, from supporting the United Nations to combating the proliferation of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons through the Nuclear Threat Initiative. Turner's generosity knows no bounds with a staggering $1 billion contribution to the United Nations Foundation, showcasing his unwavering commitment to global causes. But perhaps what truly sets Turner apart is his devotion to environmental conservation. As one of the largest private landowners in the United States, Turner has dedicated vast swaths of land to conservation efforts. And let's not forget his iconic creation, Captain Planet and the Planeteers, an animated series aimed at educating and inspiring a generation to protect our planet. Turner's impact on environmental awareness is truly immeasurable, leaving an indelible mark on both the media landscape and the world at large. With Schoenfeld's expertise and Turner's determination, they set out on a mission to make this vision a reality. They envisioned a news network that would operate around the clock, bringing breaking news to viewers at any hour of the day. But launching such a venture was no small feat. It required a substantial investment. We're talking millions of dollars here, and a team of dedicated individuals willing to push the boundaries of what was possible in news broadcasting. Turner wasn't afraid to take risks. In 1979, he made a bold move, selling off his North Carolina station to raise funds for CNN. With the money in hand, he set up shop in Atlanta, opting for a lower cost, non-union location for the network's headquarters. And thus, the stage was set for the birth of Cable News Network, better known as CNN. But Turner didn't stop there. He handpicked a team of seasoned professionals to help bring his vision to life. The rest, as they say, is history. CNN quickly became a household name, revolutionizing the way we consume news. From its humble beginnings to its rise as a global news powerhouse, CNN's journey is a testament to Turner's unwavering determination and pioneering spirit. But CNN wasn't just breaking new ground domestically. It was a trailblazer on the global stage as well. 
with programming reaching over 212 countries and territories through CNN International, the network quickly became a household name worldwide. Fast forward to today, and CNN continues to be a powerhouse in the realm of news media. Owned by the Manhattan-based media conglomerate Warner Broadway's Discovery, CNN boasts a staggering 80 million television households as subscribers in the U.S. alone as of February 2023. But CNN's influence extends beyond the small screen. From its online platform to its presence in countries like India and Japan, CNN has cemented its status as a global news authority. In India, it goes by the moniker CNN News 18, while in Japan, Viewers first tuned in to CNNJ in 2003, complete with simultaneous translation in Japanese. Of course, no journey is without its twists and turns. In recent years, CNN has faced its fair share of challenges with shifts in viewership and programming costs. Yet through it all, CNN remains committed to delivering news coverage that informs, educates, and inspires audiences worldwide. Behind the scenes, the mastermind behind CNN's meteoric rise, Bert Reinhardt, handpicks a team of trailblazers to join the network's ranks. Among them is Bernard Shaw, who earns the esteemed title of CNN's first news anchor. Together, this powerhouse team sets out to revolutionize the way we consume news, and revolutionize it they did. From its humble beginnings, CNN quickly became a household name, expanding its reach to cable and satellite television providers, websites, and even specialized closed-circuit channels like CNN Airport. With 42 bureaus spread across the globe and over 900 affiliated local stations, CNN's influence knows no bounds. But it wasn't just about numbers, it was about impact. CNN's groundbreaking coverage set a new standard for journalism, earning founder Ted Turner a spot among the media elite. And when conglomerate Time Warner came knocking in 1996, it was clear that CNN had cemented its place in history. Fast forward to 2019 and CNN had produced at least 35 original series, cementing its status as a powerhouse in the realm of documentary programming. From the Bush years to American dynasties, the Kennedys, CNN captivated audiences with riveting storytelling and unparalleled insight into key moments in history. And with the introduction of new miniseries and docuseries like American Style and The Redemption Project with Van Jones, CNN continued to captivate audiences with its diverse lineup of programming. But the evolution of CNN wasn't just limited to its content. The network also underwent significant changes in its on-air presentation. From the introduction of high-definition 1080i resolution format in September 2007 to the comprehensive redesign of its graphics package in December 2008, CNN continuously sought to enhance the viewer experience. Subsequent redesigns in 2011 and 2014 brought fresh looks and modern aesthetics to the network, while the introduction of CNN Sans in April 2016 added a touch of sophistication to its visual identity. And let's not forget about CNN AOR, the drone-based news collecting operation launched in August 2016, which revolutionized how the network captured aerial imagery and reporting. With each update and enhancement, CNN reaffirmed its commitment to delivering news coverage that is not only informative, but also visually engaging and technologically innovative. As CNN celebrates its 43rd anniversary, we reflect on the journey that has brought us to this moment. From its humble beginnings to its status as a global news leader, CNN continues to push boundaries and set new standards in journalism. So here's to the next chapter in CNN's story, as it continues to inform, inspire, and captivate audiences around the world. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments.